In this video, we are going to talk about the giant crystal cave. So before continuing, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The Cave of the Crystals, or Giant Crystal Cave, Spanish, Cueva de los Cristales, is a 300-meter, 980-foot, deep cave, attached to the Nica mine in Nica, Chihuahua, Mexico. It is shaped like a chamber within the mine's limestone host rock, and measures around 109 meters, 358 feet, in length, with a volume of 5,000 to 6,000 cubic meters, 180,000 to 210,000 cubic feet. The chamber includes some of the largest natural selenite crystals ever discovered, gypsum, calcium sulfate, 2H2O. The largest is 11.40 meters, 37.4 feet, in length, with a volume of approximately 5 cubic meters, 180 cubic feet, and a mass of approximately 12 tons. When it was accessible, the cave was extremely hot, with air temperatures reaching 58 degrees Celsius, 136 degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity levels ranging from 90 to 99 percent. As a result of these characteristics, the cave is comparatively unexplored. Without adequate protection, humans can only tolerate around 10 minutes of radiation at a time. Juan and Pedro Sanchez discovered the cave in April 2000, while drilling in the mine. As of October 2015, the mine had been reflooded, and the cavern refilled with the mineral-rich water necessary for crystal growth. These caverns have been studied by a group of scientists, as part of the NICA project. NICA is located over a fault, that leads to an underground magma chamber, roughly 3 to 5 kilometers, 2 to 3 miles, below the cave. The magma heated the saturated groundwater with sulfide ions, S2. Although the cool oxygenated surface water came into touch with the mineral-rich hot water, the two did not mix, due to the different densities. The oxygen traveled slowly into the heated water, oxidizing the sulfides, S2, to form sulfates, SO42, which precipitated as anhydrite, calcium sulfate. When the cave's overall temperature dropped below 56 degrees Celsius, the hydrothermal and sedimentary anhydrite crystals disintegrated, and gypsum, calcium sulfate, 2H2O, crystals formed. Over a period of at least 500,000 years, the hydrated sulfate gypsum crystallized at an incredibly slow rate, generating the gigantic crystals found today. Miners discovered the Cave of Swords beneath the Nica mine workings in 1910. Spanish, Cueva de las Espadas. It sits 120 meters, 390 feet, below the Cave of the Crystals, and includes magnificent, smaller, 1 meter, 3 feet 3 inches, long, crystals. It is hypothesized, that at this level, transition temperatures may have dropped significantly faster, resulting in the cessation of crystal formation. Giant Crystal Cave was discovered in April 2000 by miners in Nica, Mexico, while building a new tunnel for the Industrias Peels mining firm. They were concerned that drilling through the Nica fault might flood the mine. The Nica mining complex features significant silver, zinc, and lead deposits. The Cave of Crystals is a limestone horseshoe-shaped cave. Its floor is entirely covered in flawlessly faceted crystalline blocks. Both the blocks and the floor are pierced by enormous crystal beams. Because the crystals deteriorate in the air, the Nica project attempted to photograph them before they deteriorated further. Two further, smaller caves, Queen's Eye Cave and Candles Cave, were discovered in 2000, and another chamber was uncovered in 2009, during a drilling effort. Although the new cave, Ice Palace, is 150 meters, 490 feet, deep and not flooded, its crystal formations are much smaller, with small, cauliflower, formations and tiny, thread-like crystals. In 2006, a scientific team, led by Paolo Forti, an expert in cave minerals and crystallographer at the University of Bologna, Italy, thoroughly studied the cave. They built their own refrigerated suits and cold breathing systems to survive and work in the harsh temperature and humidity conditions that prevent extended entrance into the crystal chamber, respectively dubbed Ptolemy suit and Sinusit respirator. 
Special caving overalls were fitted with a mattress of refrigerating tubes that were distributed throughout the body and connected to a backpack weighing approximately 20 kilograms 44 pounds and contained a reservoir of cold water and ice. The cooling produced by melting ice offered approximately a half hour of autonomy. Apart from mineralogical and crystallographic research the gypsum gigantic crystals were characterized biogeochemically and microbially. Stein Erik Lauritsen, from University of Bergen, Norway, used uranium thorium dating to ascertain the gigantic crystal's maximum age, which is approximately 500,000 years. A team led by AES van Driesche used present day water from the Nika to directly measure the growth rates of these gigantic gypsum crystals. They obtained a growth rate of 1.40.2105 nms, which is the slowest normal growth rate ever explicitly measured for any crystal growth technique. Using this rate, it would have taken around 1 million years for the largest crystals to attain their current size. Penelope Boston, from New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology, a speleologist and geomicrobiologist, with expertise in extremophile species, performed sterile sampling of gypsum drill cores under aseptic circumstances, by drilling small boreholes inside big crystals. The purpose of this study was to determine the presence of ancient microorganisms trapped within fluid and solid inclusions in the calcium sulfate matrix formed during its development. The solid inclusions are predominantly magnesium and iron oxyhydroxide, although no organic stuff was detected with the solid hydroxides. No DNA from ancient bacteria could be isolated and amplified using PCR from the solid inclusions. Microbial investigations of fluid inclusions are planned in order to establish the presence of ancient microorganisms in the fluid solution from which the crystals form. At the 2017 American Association for the Advancement of Science annual meeting, researchers, including Dr. Boston, disclosed the discovery of bacteria lodged in some of the crystal's inclusions. The researchers were able to extract and reanimate these organisms using sterile procedures. These creatures are not closely connected to anything in known genetic databases. Other studies examined palynology, pollen analysis, geochemistry, hydrogeology, and the physical conditions that existed in the Cave of Crystals. In February 2011, the cave was featured on the Discovery Channel episode, Nika, Beyond the Crystal Cave. Previously, it was featured in the History Channel's Life After People, in the second season episode, Depths of Destruction. Additionally, these caves were featured in episode 311 of the television show Angry Planet. Further exploration has established the existence of more chambers, however even further exploration would have necessitated extensive crystal removal. Due to the cave's accessibility being reliant on the mine's water pumps, once mining activities halted in October 2015, the caves were permitted to re-flood. According to a February 2019 article, if the mining business decide to open another access, researchers may re-enter to complete their work. What do you think about this video? Which of the facts about Giant Crystal Cave do you find most interesting? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.